Hey, what's going on guys? Let's do this problem right here. This question is asking a fish appears to be 2 meter below the surface of a pond when viewed almost directly above by a fisherman. What is the actual depth of the fish? So here we can use refractive index equation that is uh, n is equal to actual depth actual depth over apparent depth right so apparent depth so let's see what are the information given so first uh, they are saying your fish appears to be 2 meter so this is apparent depth right this one is this part now we have refractive indexes provided so the question is asking for the actual depth right all we have to do is rearrange this equation and plug the values now let's rearrange so let's say apparent depth is a d right or d a let's put d a d apparent right that is that time n so we are trying to calculate actual so let's put actual right here so d actual is equivalent to n times d apparent right so n is 1.33 1.33 times apparent depth that is 2 meter and if you multiply this one by 2 that's going to give you 2.66 meter so that's going to be the answer for this question now let's look at the second question this question is asking a ray of light strikes a boundary between two transparent materials and there is no transmitted ray transmitted ray as shown in the figure what can you conclude about the indices of refraction of these two materials so whenever you have to have something like this like for total internal reflection to occur what has to happen is this one n1 has to be greater than n2 then only this will happen right so from this one we can conclude that refractive index of n1 is greater than n2 so that's what we can conclude from this question and i hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time